All right, scrappers. The object of this video is to teach people who have never scrapped and don't know anything about metal. It's, it's to teach them what to do before coming to Sullivan Scrap Metals. So the first thing that you need to do is learn how to use a magnet. The magnet will be able to help you separate between your non-ferrous metals and your ferrous metals. When you come to Sullivan's, if it's your first time, it's easiest for our employees to help you if you come with your metal separated between these two things because it's in two separate areas. So if your magnet sticks to something, that means it's a ferrous metal. It could be steel, iron, anything like that. So all that you have to do is you pick something up and you just see if the magnet sticks to it. If the magnet sticks, that means it's a ferrous metal. So you just want to put that in a ferrous bin. You might see something like this laying around your house. It has a yellow gold look. Touch the magnet to it. The magnet does not stick to it. So that would mean it is a non-ferrous material. We have something that looks like a little electrical wire, something you might find extra laying around your house or your garage. So you would just touch this with a magnet. The magnet does not stick to it. So that means it's a non-ferrous material. We have another similar item. Looks very similar to what we just had. We'll touch the magnet to it. This time the magnet clearly sticks. So that means it goes in the ferrous material, metal, ferrous metal bucket. Looks like we got some pipe over here. We'll test these things with our magnet. The magnet does not stick to it. So that means it goes in the non-ferrous metal. All right. Got something that looks like some wire. Some extra wire that might be laying around your house. Magnet doesn't stick to it. You can put that in your non ferrous bin. Got in a, a beer can. It's an aluminum can. The magnet does not stick to it. Also, can go in the non ferrous bin. Alright, so now we have this something that looks like you can get off the outside of your house. Touch the magnet to it, the magnet sticks to it. Means it goes in the fair spin. Two things left here. Touch the magnet to this end. Doesn't stick. Goes into the non fair spin. And last but not least, you might have some tools laying around your house. Screwdriver, the magnet sticks to it. Which means goes into the fair spin. So if you have metal laying around your house that looks like that and you're not sure what to do with it but you want to get rid of it, if you just separate it like we just did and you bring it to our yard, our scale guys, our scale operators will be more than happy to help you and this is the best way to get the most money for what you have.